Let's welcome on in Jordan. I feel like Jordan Brooks has a lot on his mind tonight, of course. If you take it back to earlier this year, a Paradise Bash, we was hoping he would receive some assistance from, from Justin Harris, but, you know, a wise man once said, so that was a fucking lie. Jordan Brooks got his, he did not get the help he received from Justin Harris and unfortunately lost to Greeley Steele for the Universal Championship at Paradise Bash. Said there, you said exactly what we all think that Paradise Bash was soccer. But the return of Justin Harris, we thought he was on the side of Jordan Brooks, and well, we were all there. We saw what happened. I ever, I ever had your heart broken? You ever experienced the type of heartbreak that keeps you up at night? that makes it so that you can't sleep and every time you try you have these dreams that flash you back to the moment where you got your heart shattered into a million pieces in front of thousands and thousands of people on january 2nd i felt that i felt the worst kind of heartbreak worse than any girl could have ever given me worse than any loss in my career that i've ever taken and i've had quite a few over the past year Justin Harris, a man I thought was my close friend, a man I could even say is one of my best friends, stabbed me in my back. Wearing a t-shirt draped with the woman of my dreams on it, he stabbed me right in the back in the main event of my first show back in our pro. It hurt. It hurt so bad. And what hurt even more is he having the audacity, the gall to go out there and say it was for my own good. To tell everybody that I needed to learn from this experience like I haven't handed, been handed loss after loss after loss over the past year. Failure after failure after failure and for the first time I think what really hurts is I feel totally alone in this business. I have nobody. I've always had something. I had TPA, I had, I had Big Perk or I had Crude and they're not here or at least not with me. I got bigger fish to fry, and then I had I had Bowden, and I had Braddock, and they're not here. And now I stand here alone, a vulnerable man, a man who cried for hours after he got stabbed in the back, and now I understand why it was done for me, or at least he claimed it. Because all these times that I've done these things, all these times that I've hurt people, I never realized the hatred that I opened in their heart. But Justin, I need you to understand something. Justin, what you have just done is you have, you have opened a new side of me. This backstabbing has, has, has shown me the pain that I've caused people. And this, this is going to be the sweetest revenge that anybody has ever had. So, so, Justin, as your friend, I am warning you that I am coming after you with the vengeance of thousands of gods. And I hope to God that you don't make the mistake of trying to hide because when I get my hands on you, you're gonna remember that beating for the rest of your goddamn life. Jordan, as much as I'd love to join me in the ring for this, sadly, I've been advised by James Barnett that should I enter that ring to knock you on your ass again, or engage in any physical altercation with you, I'd be fined and banned from all future Art Pro events due to the fact that I haven't been cleared for entering competition. So, I'm just going to stay up here on the stage while I get through all the things that I want to say. And trust me, there's a lot that I've been meaning to get off my chest for a really long time. So you come out here and you try to tug at these people's heartstrings talking about how heartbroken you are. But you feel so betrayed how you have nobody. And all I can think as I'm listening to you spew your usual bullshit is maybe you wouldn't be alone if you didn't backstab and step over every other person that has lended you their hand in favor of your own success. You did it to me, 
You did it to Bowden, you abandoned TPA, and I'm sure when you get the opportunity, Amber Reed will be nothing more than someone you used to garner a little extra attention because while you spent the past year with your shoulders pinned to that mat, she's been on top of the world. She's reached heights that you'll never see. And I'm sure that kills you. I bet you would give anything to be in her position. The same way you did with everyone else I just mentioned. But that's besides the point. You know, there's been a lot of speculation since Paradise Bash as to why I interfered in your match with Greeley. Did I do it because you're the reason why I was forced out of the ring? Did I do it because I'm just a really big Greeley Steel guy and I didn't want to see him lose? Or did I do it for the fans? Did I do it because I know the kind of guy you are and I know they deserve better? Well, I'll tell you right now, I didn't do it for Greeley. And I didn't do it for the fans. If I'm being honest, Greeley Steel might be one of the biggest frauds this company has ever produced. And you fans don't deserve anything from me. When I left R Pro, none of you cared. When I was forced to walk away from this business, I learned very quickly that I was nothing more than a spoke on a wheel that would keep on turning with or without me. But none of that's really relevant in this situation. I just figured that while I have this time out here, I'd let you all know how I really feel. Now, just getting back on track for a second, Jordan, this wasn't just because you injured me. If you and I are being honest, this was a long time coming. While I had to sit at home, struggling to even get out of bed every morning, you were given opportunity after opportunity, only to strike out every chance you got, and that pisses me off. Because I know if a guy like me had the chances you got, I'd be the face of this industry. I have made the most out of every opportunity I've ever been given in my life. Even in defeat, I used what I could to make a name for myself and to elevate my name to where it is today. Now I know you want to get revenge. I know you probably want to get me in that ring, don't you? Well, as much as I'd love to step foot in there and beat you again, sadly, that's just not up to me. The R Pro medical team hasn't cleared me. And from what I've been told, it's pretty unlikely that they ever will. Something about them not wanting to be liable if my injury worsened. But hey, like I said, me personally, I would love to give you this match. But once again, your own actions have come back to haunt you. Jordan Brooks, I do not respect you. I hold no love for you. And as long as I'm around, you will continue to have no success in that ring. And I think that's only fair, because you took something from me that will likely never be able to be given back. Oh yeah, yeah, go ahead. Go right ahead and turn your back to me. Turn your back because you don't have the balls to look me in the eyes while I speak nothing but the truth. Because the truth is, I hate you. And I will continue hating you until the day comes that I take my final breath. That's all I have to say. Jordan, something tells me that we'll be seeing a lot more of each other real soon. Very, very staggering words. Pulling at the heartstrings here tonight. Justin Harris letting Jordan Brooks exactly how he feels. And I mean, I kind of side with Justin here. Exactly. You don't bite the hand that feeds you. And that's exactly what Jordan Brooks did.